All right, guys, what's up? Um, so today we're going to be doing a kind of a tutorial for some of you that have a wise cam. Um, you know, if you have a wise cam and you hate viewing on your phone, your tablet, iPad, Android device, so be it. If you hate viewing that stuff when you're home and you just want to look at what's happening in your office, what's happening in the backyard, garage, front yard, when you're expecting a package, and you want to view it on your laptop or your old. So what I'm talking about today is if you want to have wise cam up on a laptop device, go ahead and stick with this video because I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is the device I'm talking about. It's gotten very popular. I myself got a few of these. I love them. All you have to do is plug them in, connect it to your Wi-Fi via the phone. You're, you're good to go. But if you want to view that on your laptop, Let's get right into it. So if you've never heard of BlueStacks, it's basically an Android emulator. You can have the Android operating system on your laptop or your Mac. And so with that being said, you know, if you're not familiar with that, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set it up. So go ahead and download BlueStacks. So, you know, in Google, just go ahead and, you know, type in BlueStacks download. And you'll go ahead and just see the first link right here. Go down to where it says download BlueStacks now. Now this is a pretty decent big file. It's probably about 400 megabytes, um, about half a gig. So whether you're, you have fast connection or not, uh, it just depends on how long it will take. You don't have to sign up for anything, at least yet. So as it's downloading here at the bottom, mine, mine downloads pretty fast. So I only have about 40 seconds, something to wait. So, you know, during that time, um, I'll go ahead and just show you where my camera is installed. So my camera is installed right here in my office and I have it up here in the corner. I have, uh, just, you know, a simple plug in right here for it. And it runs down behind my little entertainment center for my Nintendo switch. My other one right here is actually in my office window pointing out into my apartment's, you know, street view because I want to be able to keep an eye on where packages are coming or whenever I have uh, my fiance is home and I want to keep a watch on the car. And another one I also have right here is in the living room. So in the living room, sometimes I'm gone, sometimes I'm not, and I have three animals. And sometimes I just want to see what they're doing up to, especially when my cat tries to claw furniture. Um, it's just good to keep an eye on them. Um, so mine's, mine's downloaded right here. It's successfully downloaded. It's, it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my desktop. And BlueStacks, it just be this huge long file name. And I do got to say that I think BlueStacks only works for 32 or 64 bit operating systems. So if you have a newer device within the last five years, you're, you should be good. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and double click on that. It might take a second and um, I'm just going to hit, hit run, go through this small process and make sure that uh, you guys can see it. Good. So. BlueStacks is well known mostly just for, you know, running Android or so-and-so games that you don't want to play on your tablet, but sometimes you want to play on your laptop. So go down here and select accept software license. You can customize it if you want. You can basically install it wherever you want. It takes about two gigs to install it and really it, everybody should have that space. So go ahead and hit install. Now, when I talked about that, you need to have, you need to be able to, there's no registration. Well, you have to have a Google account. So everybody almost has a Google account. If you have a YouTube account that have, you have a channel, you may, you may not use it, but you can still use that Google email to sign in with BlueStacks because it's almost acting like you have an Android phone and you're first signing in, connecting your Google account so that you can use the app store, etc. And you need to use the app store. So make sure you go ahead and get those that email and password ready so you can go ahead and enter it. Now in terms of how how much this takes to run, it's it's pretty simple. It doesn't really take that much to run. And almost anybody can run it. 
All right, so here it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and click the complete. Now the first time starting up BlueStacks might take a little bit. That might it's not always gonna be that slow on other startups of the program, so don't don't feel too worried about that. All right, so it, this is the part where you need to have your email and your password for Google. And obviously when you enter it, it's secure. It's not gonna go to me. It's not gonna go to anybody. It's just verif verification through Google. So I will go ahead and enter my email and my password, and then I'm gonna hit next. Usually when you sign in with a new device such as this, um, Google will send you an email to let you know that somebody has signed into it and that somebody is you, so don't be too alarmed, obviously. I just got an email. <laughs> All right, so basically what's happening now is it's signed into Google and it's allowing you to access the App Store and to let you basically use the full potential of BlueStacks. So start using BlueStacks. Um, we're going to go ahead and at the search right here, we're going to go ahead and type in, um, tiny cam, bring up the app store. And the one you want to look for is this one right here. It's the free version allows up to, I think three to four or five or six cameras for free. And that's the one I use. So we'll go ahead and hit install. Oh, there, there it goes. Uh, so if you get a little pop-up that's basically saying that you need to add a credit card for verification, you could literally just hit skip and hit skip again and then click download or install rather. It's literally, it, if you have an Android device, that's what's going to happen when you log into a first Android device anyways, but you can always just skip that and just cancel and then hit install again. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Gonna basically you know I don't want to assign random cameras I'm gonna hit this little button right here so what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna hit this little plus sign that it wants us to add a camera we're gonna go ahead and do that click on the top one right here where it says add IP camera in VR slash DVR top right here you can enter a name um, so the camera Camera brand, you always need to remember to do this. So go ahead and find Wisecam Labs. Just basically go down to the W. You can use your mouse wheel or your arrow keys down to get to this faster. There it is, Wisecam Labs. All right. Go ahead and enter your Wisecam app email and password. When it says username, don't be alarmed. Just says, just enter your email. Go ahead and enter your password. Hopefully I'm getting my password right. And obviously it's blocked so that you guys can't see each letter of my password. And then go down here and click advanced settings. Um, and just to make sure that that's all there so that, you know, you can see that you have exactly what I have and go ahead and hit back up at the top and then hit back again, go ahead and hit live view at this, this side panel right here and a camera should pop up. So obviously you can tell that's working because you see me and basically do the same step multiple times. Go back over here, hit manage cameras, exit this ad, click the plus, hit add IP camera in VR slash DVR and complete the same step. Don't forget to put the camera brand and all as well as the username and password. And when you're done, you can hit back 
and then your second one will be added and then you can go back to live view and see your cameras now really guys that's about it and if you just really want to just look at it so easily again you can click this little tiny cam shortcut right here it's installed it'll be a lot faster booting up this time and then it'll launch the app automatically so there it is and it will start going into the uh, live view and obviously you'll see me in my office and there you go so with that being said guys I hope you've enjoyed and yeah so there you go you'll automatically start seeing more and more as you add them and this is the free version so sometimes you will get occasional ads but it won't be never any audio ads or whatnot but I hope you guys have enjoyed and have really used this a tutorial. And if I helped you, go ahead and just comment. Let me know. Let other people know. And if you come into any issues, just, like I said, comment below and I will get you sorted out. 